if you want to get rid of your anxiety with the help of crystals, then definitely keep on watching. What's up friends? My name is Savannah. I teach modern day hippies how to live a more healthy and natural lifestyle through mindfulness and science. This week we are getting into quelling our anxiety with these bad boys, these precious little earth gems. Today I'm teaching you the best crystals for helping your anxiety, so if that sounds like something you'd like to do, keep on watching. I got something free for you, it's down in the description, is my free masterclass. I've been working on it for so long, it's come together so well, I'm so excited about it, and I hope you guys are too. I hope you love it so much. Go sign up for that right now. Pick the time that you want to go, and let's get to manifesting. Let's get to taking that anxious energy and freak it into manifestation power. Before we dive right in, after all my plugs, <laughs> won't you be an absolute babe and hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos each and every week about holistic health and healing. Okay, so for those of you who know me from my past, you know that I am a chemical engineer and you might be thinking, wow, Sav, you've been doing a lot of uh, YouTube videos that are kind of, uh, you know, hippie woo-woo type. And to you I say, Yes, I know, and I'm not going to stop. I am not sorry. So yes, I have gone down the deep end, but to be real, I've always been down the deep end. I'm just less afraid of showing that side of myself now. And my work in microelectronics has really made me believe even more so in the special abilities of these little babies. If you want to know what I really think about crystals from both a spiritual and scientific point of view, check out my blog post down below. All right, are they gone? Are they gone yet? Okay, so for those of us who are into these beautiful little soul gem babies of the earth and want to know how to help our anxiety with the crystals that I'm about to tell you about today, let's go. So these are my top recommendations on which crystals you should carry around and honestly like I like to pop a cute couple in my sports bra so if you're someone that wears a bra, putting crystals in your bra is like perfect. It's a perfect place to keep them or just, you know, put them in your pocket like a normal person. Number one on the list is this bad baby I've been holding right here. Amethyst is said to induce a sense of judgment and alleviate tension. So if you have anxiety, that's perfect. Did that, did that focus? Hello? Hello? Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, how cute is she? She's actually meant to be on a key ring. Maybe I'll go put her on my key ring now so I can have less anxiety. Second on the list is Blue Agate. It's said to restore inner calm and relaxation and really soothe the mind. Oh, by the way, I have an entire anxiety coping playlist, which I will link right here. Um, yeah, go check that out. It's, if you have anxiety, you don't need it. Second on the list is boop, Labradorite. These actually came from two of my Solterra candles. And oh, aren't they just so magical? They're in like an eye form, so they're like extra cool. It's said to dispel fear, negativity, and anxiety. Next on our list is rose quartz. These cute little pink babies are said to impart unconditional love, because they are the love stone. I mean, come on, so cute. And they also help dispel negativity. They are quartz, which I believe to be the most magical because they have the most electrical um, properties. Of all of the crystals, also on the quartz family list is citrine, amethyst, clear quartz, smoky quartz, and rose quartz. Fifth on the list is sodalite. These are said to clear negative feelings and help bring the focus from doing to being. If you're someone that meditates, then you know how important it is to bring the focus into just being instead of having to always do and think. Really love these and I love this one especially because look, it's like a little, like a little dome. A member of the quartz family is number six on the list and that is citrine. These are yellow little babies. Ooh, it is baby one. It's said to impart cheerfulness, which is fitting because it is yellow and yellow is kind of like a cheerful color. And they're also said to strengthen self-belief, which is really important if you have anxiety. Really quick, while we're talking about yellow, let's talk about the solar plexus chakra. Maybe I can play my bowl for you guys really quick. Quick bowl intermission. else feel this in their tummy because it's same. Okay, 
If you guys are having a really fun time watching me get excited about all of my cute little crystal babies, then definitely watch this right here. It is my crystal tour vlog. It's not up to date. I gotta do a new one soon because I've gotten a lot more stuff since living in Denver, Colorado, a mining city. Number seven is Garnet. It is red, it is for the root chakra, which means that it does invoke a sense of safety. It also helps with willpower, intuition, and trust, which is very important if you have anxiety. Next week, I am opening up about my spiritual journey for all of you that have been asking, Savannah, how did you get to this point? What happened? What's been going on in your life? Keep in mind, I am still on a spiritual path. It has truly been such a doozy. Um, the closest video that I have, I'll put right here, it's called Why I Stopped Drinking where I get into like my empathic nature and why I wanted to dull that <laughs> with a lot of alcohol for many years. Actually, my anxiety that pushed me into my spiritual journey. So if you are someone who is struggling with anxiety, make sure you sign up for my masterclass, but also know that sometimes the things that are hurting us the most or troubling us the most are the things that push us towards the light. Does that make any sense? Can you relate? I know that it's hard to really feel that and see that and recognize that and know it when you're going through it, when you're going through the trenches. It's so hard sometimes to, to see the light when you're going through the darkness. But the thing that is troubling you is pushing you towards growth, which is pushing you farther into your spiritual path. So just know if you have anxiety, you can work with it. And not only can you work with it, but it's going to push you closer towards being a more conscious person. Or should I say a more conscious soul? Definitely subscribe so you don't miss that next week. Don't forget to give this video a like and if you want to learn more about how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle through mindfulness and science, then start by watching one of these two videos over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a blissful day.